Today, I'm gonna to show you how to save time with your Pinterest marketing strategy by using Tailwind's Ghost Writer tool. I'm Emily Bales, I'm a Pinterest marketing and ad strategist, and for the past four years, I've helped my clients and my students increase their traffic and turn it into profit through the power of Pinterest marketing. So when I start working with clients, I do always mention that I require them to use Tailwind for their scheduler. So one thing that's really important with your Pinterest marketing strategy is consistency. And the easiest, hands down easiest way to stay consistent with your strategy is through using a scheduler. And people used to think that schedulers might impact their growth or their traffic on Pinterest, and that's just not the case. The simple matter of fact point about it is that essentially schedulers are just putting out whatever inputs we're putting in. So to put it quite bluntly, if you're putting garbage in, guess what? The scheduler is going to put garbage out. So as long as you are following best practices, optimizing your content, focusing on fresh content, all of those things that I am always practicing and teaching, then schedulers are your new best friend. And what I wanna dive into today is how to use Tailwind's Ghostwriter tool. So essentially the Ghostwriter is Tailwind's new AI tool. And I've been playing around with it a lot lately and I think it's a really fantastic tool. Now, a lot of people have been talking about ChatGPT and how they are using that artificial intelligence to save time and really streamline a lot of the content creation with their business. And whether you're using ChatGPT or you're using Tailwind's Ghostwriter tool, one thing that is really important to understand is that artificial intelligence is a great tool, but to me and what I've heard from other people in business is that it's not an excuse to remove the human, obviously, from business or from your Pinterest marketing strategy more specifically. So yes, I have used AI tools such as the Ghostwriter and they can be really helpful, but as we dive into the Ghostwriter today, there's gonna be some things that I'm gonna point out that you'll wanna pay attention to. So yes, it can save time, but if they aren't used correctly, they could actually negatively impact your overall growth because Pinterest is a search engine and to its core, it thrives off of using keywords and making sure that your content is optimized. So when we take a look at the Ghostwriter, just here in a minute, you're gonna see that the Ghostwriter tool actually has a place where a real person <laughs> will be inputting the keywords and then we are going to tell the Ghostwriter to essentially take those keywords words and generate an optimized description. Now, I've noticed as I read through the different descriptions that are created, some of them, I'm like, this is great, let's run with it. Other times there's things that need to be tweaked. And to me, it's important that I am always putting quality over quantity and that I'm not just trying to put out a high volume of content, but I'm still optimizing it for the search engine optimizing it for the pinner or the other person that's on the other side of that screen. So I think that when we get lazy or if we do get lazy, that's when we can start to see our Pinterest growth really negatively impacted. And kind of going back to what I mentioned previously that even schedulers, yes, they can save us a lot of time, but similar to using AI, they can only do so much. It's important that we're following best practices and that we're not solely relying on our platforms, our schedulers, our tools, or artificial intelligence to completely do the job for us. So we use them as tools to save time, but that does not mean that in itself it is going to be perfect, right? So we need to be overseeing that and making sure that we are always putting our ideal customer or audience first and making sure that we are serving them and also optimizing our content for the search engine. So what we are going to do now, we are going to jump over and I am going to actually be showing you my 
Tailwind account. And I'm also going to give you a little insight on really my content creation strategy and what I'm doing for my own account when I'm getting my content scheduled out on Tailwind. So let's go ahead and take a look behind the scenes. Okay. So you can see that we are inside my Tailwind account. And I should mention that if you don't have a Tailwind account, then you can sign up for a Tailwind account for free and start scheduling pins right away. I believe that the lowest price package that you can essentially get with Tailwind starts at $12 a month. And that is essentially the plan that I have. And it gives me all of the functions and capabilities I need. So it is a very low price point, or you can even join for free and still utilize the different amazing tools to a certain extent. However, obviously with a paid plan, you do have more capabilities and a little more options as far as how many pins you can um, create and how many ghostwriter credits you get, etc. So if you do want to start a free trial of Tailwind, then I am going to be linking my affiliate here in this YouTube video. And as I always share, I only recommend tools I know and that I literally am using on a daily or weekly basis for my own business and also my clients. So I highly recommend Tailwind. It is a great platform, super easy to use. And I should mention too that if you are starting a free trial, that if you don't really know how to use the platform, this isn't a Tailwind how-to tutorial. I am going to show you how I'm using the Ghostwriter tool specifically, but when you set up your Tailwind account, they will quite literally give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use their tools. So that part is super helpful. Um, you will see up here, I am using Google Chrome. So I highly recommend that you get the Google Chrome extension for Tailwind and you will see that up here. I just clicked on that Google Chrome extension and you can see how that pops up. I'm gonna X out of there. And then when you go down here, you'll see this little ghost at the bottom. That is the ghostwriter. Now I'm gonna show you some of the steps I walk through when I am creating pins for my own content. So you are gonna get a little behind the scenes today of me creating content for my blog and really how I'm using Tailwind's AI. So I'm gonna jump over to my blog and let's say I want to create, and this is a pro strategy tip, when I am, when I publish a new blog post, I'm typically creating at least three fresh pins for that piece of long form content. Now, when I say long form content, that could be a blog post, that could be a podcast episode, that could be a YouTube video. That is all different types of long form content. I do have a blog and obviously I here I am creating on YouTube. So I also create multiple pins even for each of my YouTube videos. So this is just an example. I have actually already created pins for this blog post, but um, I do want to use it as an example. So make money on Pinterest with affiliate marketing. So I am creating anywhere from three to five pins, typically five pins. However, very tactical tip here, I do make sure that I'm spreading those pins out so they are not all being pinned on the same day. You can see here how I have this YouTube video um, embedded as well. So a really great strategy when you're thinking about the different types of pins you're gonna be creating because it is a best practice to have different designs, different text overlay for each of those unique pins you can use the headings in your blog post. That's a really great way to essentially create those pins with different angles, different hooks. So one pin could be about what is affiliate marketing. Another pin could be how to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. So I'm looking at this heading and thinking about how I could put a twist on that with my pins specifically. Then another pin could be how to how to find or how to become an affiliate. So I'm just thinking literally, <laughs> you're hearing me brain dump right now. And some of these, you don't have to create an individual pin for every heading. So some of them might lend themselves better to pins or topics than others. So Pinterest strategy with affiliate marketing, that's another one. So how to 
how to create a Pinterest strategy for your affiliates. There you go, there is another angle. So like I said, you might wanna play around with it a little bit. You are seeing my brain work <laughs> in real time here. So once you decide on the different pins or the different angles and hooks, what I do then, or what you can do for your content, then I go over to Tailwind. I like to use the Create tool. So this is a little bit different. The Create tool has been around for a little while and it essentially is a way to save you time when you are creating your pins. It's a really cool tool. So I'm actually, I'm gonna come over here and copy this link and go back over to the Tailwind Create. It might take just a second here to load. So there's a few different things you can do. One of the first things you can do is to upload photos or you can get photos from that link. Sometimes I have photos I wanna use, other times I don't. And then there's even the option for stock photos, which is uh, really pretty cool. Once you decide on the photos, so once you decide on the photos, you can see that these have different dropdowns. What you're essentially gonna do is in order to optimize the pins, you are going to go through and you're gonna select photos. Then you are going to select text. So that would be the text overlay on your pins. And if you're wondering about what to put on the text overlay for your pins or how to find keywords, I highly recommend going to one of my other YouTube videos titled Four Pillars for Marketing on Pinterest Keywords. So that YouTube video is going to show you how to find the keywords that you wanna be ranking for. And then you need to strategically use those in your text overlay. So let's say for the sake of time, I'm just gonna choose this picture. And these are all stock photos. These are fair game that Tailwind is giving you access to. You can decide how many photos you want. I want one photo. A lot of times when I'm creating pens, I don't do a ton of collages. I like to stick to one image. Pay attention to your analytics and see what performs best for you. You can play around with different um, amounts of photos. So text, let's go ahead and jump back over to my blog. So I want the first one to be about, let's say how to, how to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. How to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. You can play around with the text. Let's say I want to change it so it's a little bit more bold, easier to read. Pro tip, most people are, most pinners are looking at pins on their phones. So it's good to have really easy, quick to read font. I'm going to add more text, learn more now, add a call to action. My color palette, you'll see mine is already on here. All of those pinks um, are, you'll see my brand colors, I've already added that. You can add your own brand colors using those hex codes so that you can have it saved, makes uh, creating the pins much faster. You can have your branding where then you can upload your logo, you can have your web address so that those pins are really optimized. And then you can scroll through and decide which one is the most appealing to you and which one that you would like to move forward with. And maybe there aren't any that are really catching your fancy. Let's say we decide to just go with, and sometimes there's some that I love and other times I jump back over to Canva and just end up creating it myself. But there are definitely times where the Tailwind Create is super helpful. So for the sake of time, let's go ahead and just select this pin. Then you're gonna review design. And then I'm going to go over and schedule design. Confirm this account. And then what we're gonna do now is we are going to utilize the Ghostwriter tool. So I'm not gonna sign in with Instagram. So this is what it's gonna look like. And you will see that it's gonna auto generate the pin title. A pro tip here is whatever the text overlay is on the pin, that does not need to be the title for your pin. So you can change the title. So the title on the pin or the text overlay on the pin says how to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. We'll change it a little bit using Pinterest for affiliate marketing. And then we are going to share that link. Then we're gonna click the ghostwriter. Now, you will have to decide what you're posting about. It could be a featured product. Um, mine is informational content. Now, here is where you are gonna wanna have some type of document or place where you are housing your keywords, or maybe you know those keywords off the top of your head. 
but you need to understand what keywords or phrases you want to be ranking for. So in my mind, those are pillar keywords and long tail keywords. Keep in mind, pillar keywords are usually one to two words, long tail keywords are anywhere from two to five words. So I'm gonna click on add keywords or phrases. So I could type in affiliate marketing, Pinterest for affiliate marketing, Pinterest marketing tips. I might wanna do a little bit more keyword research here, but these are some that I just thought of off the top of my head. I'm gonna add a call to action, learn more on my blog. So then you can see here, this is gonna take one credit and it will say generating content will cost you one ghostwriter credit. So depending on the plan you have, you can only use this to a certain extent. So that is something to keep in mind. And then you're gonna generate descriptions and it takes just a second to think here. And the nice part about it is, is that when it does come up with the descriptions, it gives you different options. So if there's not one that is like, if it's kind of missing the mark, then you can choose a different one. So I'm gonna read through, so it says, are you interested in learning how to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing? As an affiliate marketer, you wanna maximize your earning potential by leveraging all of the available tools at your disposal. Pinterest is a powerful marketing platform that can help you increase sales and generate more income. With the right strategies, you can really take your affiliate marketing efforts to the next level, learn more. Okay, so that's actually a great Pinterest pin description. Sometimes they do sound a little wonky and I feel like they're missing the mark, maybe just a little bit, but it's also artificial intelligence. So sometimes I have to change a couple of words, but I'm not reinventing the wheel, right? And I think that that's something that is so important to keep in mind with artificial intelligence is, I, I said it before and I'm gonna say it again, it's not a reason to uh, think that you need to eliminate or remove the human from the equation, but you're using this as a tool to save time. So there's still a need for me to read over this and make sure that it sounds right and that it's including the keywords. And let's say that I wanna use this, I'm gonna click on save description. So then you can say, you can see up here that it has my pin title, it has my optimized pin description, it has the correct link, and then I'm gonna decide what boards I want to add it to. So I have Pinterest marketing already saved. So I have affiliate marketing, I'm actually gonna remove these. What I want is I want my pin to go to the most highly relevant boards. Affiliate marketing, this is about affiliate marketing, that's the most highly relevant board. So I want it to go out to that board first. So then from there, let's see, Pinterest marketing. This is my brand board. So then small business ideas and tips. Okay, so let's say I choose four boards. Then what I can do is I can click on the date that I want that scheduled. And then I am I can decide if I wanna use it or add it to communities. Let's say maybe I don't add it to communities. Either way, and then you can go ahead and get that pin scheduled. So you can see um, how much time that saves with writing those descriptions. Now, something else I want to show with the ghost writer tool, which is really cool. I'm gonna go back to my original publisher. The ghost writer tool can actually, the ghost writer tool can actually save you time with coming up with topic and content ideas. So you can see, once again, I clicked on that ghost at the bottom. You can see all these use cases. So general copy, AI generated image, marketing advisor, Instagram captions, Facebook posts, Pinterest pin. So we used, you can generate Pinterest titles. I did not generate a Pinterest title. You could even save even more time by generating the title. We, I did just show you how to generate the description. There are so many different options here though. So you can see all the different ways that you can really save time with this um, AI tool. And if you are already using Tailwind, then you should obviously utilize this tool. If you are on the fence and you aren't sure if you should start using Tailwind, maybe this can help you make up your mind. So let's say I always start with my long form content. That's what I consider my anchor. So from there, that's where I'm creating my Pinterest pins, my TikTok videos, my YouTube shorts, my Instagram reels. So let's say that maybe I'm feeling a little stale with my long form content and what I wanna be creating next. So you can even use the ghostwriter um, to flesh out other like blog content 
that will then feed your Pinterest strategy, right? Because I'm gonna be creating at least five pins. Now, when you're thinking about your blog content or whatever long form content you are searching for, you wanna make sure obviously that it's gonna be feeding and serving a purpose for your business goals, right? So I'm typically pushing people to watch my masterclass in my blog or watch my master, I'll share like, hey, go watch my masterclass to learn more. Because in all honesty, what that does is it pushes people to my email list. And once I get them on my email list, that's where I'm going to be selling people that I'm sharing about my Pinterest courses, my Pinterest workshops. So when you're thinking about this overall big picture with your content creation and how that feeds into your Pinterest pins, you still want to keep your business goals and what you are trying to accomplish at the forefront and how that's going to serve your specific audience. So you could go from back to the ghostwriter, you could go from idea to full article, blog article, topic ideas. So sometimes I just have a hard time coming up with the idea or the topic. And so you can click on that. So what's the subject? So for me, it could be Pinterest or would be Pinterest marketing generate topic ideas. So let's see what it comes up with. And it does take a couple, maybe like a minute to really formulate these ideas when you are using that AI tool. So we will let it think for a second. And <laughs> even if you have to wait for a second, when you think about the big picture, it is still saving you time. So, okay, here we go. So it says title, seven secrets of Pinterest marketing to get you ahead of the curve. And then it provides you a summary. Take your Pinterest marketing plan to the next level with these seven unexpected tips. Let's see. Title, top 10 creative strategies to make the most of your Pinterest account. Next one, tips and tricks to grow your Pinterest following fast. Uh, next one, how to optimize your Pinterest board for maximum reach. You can kind of see here where you have different ideas. So let's say maximize your impact with the latest Pinterest trends. So you can copy that. You could generate other topic ideas. Or let's say that you want to go to the headline. You can go over here if you are looking for help with a more specific area. So maybe you already have the idea and you need help with the outline or the intro. Um, I know for myself, if I can just have an outline, then I kind of know how to run with it, right? So you can kind of decide what's going to best serve you. So takeaway here, once again, is that AI is definitely helpful, but in my opinion, <laughs> it does not remove the need for that human on the other side to um, still oversee that best practices are being followed and that I know for me it's really important that my audience still has my consistent tone and voice and I don't I can't imagine not overseeing reading tweaking things that the artificial intelligence is creating for me even with things that are as simple as my Pinterest pin descriptions. So you can see though where this can save you a lot of time. So I'm going to pause here and we are going to wrap up this YouTube tutorial on how to use the Tailwind Ghostwriter tool to save you time with your Pinterest marketing strategy. I hope you found that Tailwind Ghostwriter tutorial super helpful. As you can see, that can be a great way to save time with your Pinterest marketing strategy. And something that's very tactical, but helpful to understand is that it's very important to be consistent on Pinterest and to be pinning anywhere from three to five times a day, which could sound like a lot, but when you can lean into these tools that we have at our disposal, like the Tailwind Create tool, or using the Tailwind Ghostwriter. You can see where you can create beautiful designs more quickly and how we can still follow best practices. It's just important to oversee that and have a really solid understanding of what keywords you wanna be ranking for so that Pinterest can properly index your content and then serve that to your perfect person on the platform. So it's just important to always oversee that 
and have that handle so that you can be using those tools effectively. And one last pro tip before we part ways, I shared in the video that I'm creating multiple pins for each piece of long form content. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a unique design for each of those different topics, hooks, or angles, and then also a unique title and description. So that could sound like a lot of work, but when you start using a Tailwind Ghostwriter tool, it's going to save you so much time. So if you wanna start your free trial of Tailwind today, I am sharing my affiliate link in this YouTube video. And I did talk a lot about some of the different foundational or the different pillars of creating a Pinterest strategy. So we do have a few different recommendations. If you wanna go back and watch some of my other YouTube videos on creating a Pinterest strategy. So two of those pillars specifically are using keywords in your Pinterest strategy and then also scheduling. So I go more in depth on those topics. So I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let me know in the comments what other questions you have about Tailwind's Ghostwriter AI tool. And like I said, be sure to subscribe so that you get next week's new video. Bye for now.